What is up, guys? Happy New Year. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a minute since we have been, been here minute. doing this. Um, speaking of New Year's, there are some really fun uh, things that people tend to try and like resolutions that they try to have for New Year's. Um, and so... Is with, that what our game's about? With that in mind, Nathan, it's game time. Oh, that was good. The game is real or fake New Year's resolution tweets. I'm so excited. Um, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to see a tweet. Now, you know Wait, this game is old. You can't call them tweets. You know this game is old because it's a tweet. So You're it's at least a year a old. Yeah. Um, we have to decide if that New Year's resolution is an actual Twitter, is from like a real X handle. <laughs> Um, or Elon Musk, you ruined. I mean, I'm not an Elon Musk hater. I think there's a lot of exaggerated oh, animosity yeah. towards yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. But I do think renaming it was dumb. It's it's weird. Um, anyway, have fun with this, guys. Right, Let's so laugh at people's New Year's it, resolutions. We think it's real, we real it's fake. or fake. Yep. Got it. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, thank you. Okay. Um, my. <laughs> Okay. My New Year's resolution is that donuts are good for me That's by mine. Johnny Appleseed. Mm, I'm going to be friends with him. Johnny Appleseed, do you know what his real name was? John Chapman. He was also not just planting trees. He was part of a cult called the Swedenborgianists, and he led a lot of literature for that cult out, too. Speaking of, No, we'll move on. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, so okay. thumbs up is it's real, thumbs down is it's fake. Right. Three, two, one. Okay. Well, said it's fake. Let's see. It's oh, real. But it's oh. from Kumail Nan. Oh, okay. okay. So here's something that I now know. Now I know. They're hiding the name. They're hiding the name. Mm. The more you know. Because uh, he's I... hilarious, and that makes sense now. Wait, you know that name? Kumail? Yeah, so do you. You have seen him in Eternals. He was the really funny guy who was like the actor okay. of the Eternals. You remember him? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. He's funny. Okay. No, Kumail Nan is That's hilarious. Funny. Okay, so we just have to decide if the tweet was yeah. done by it, but we're getting a fake See, handle. Okay. That's, oh, it says Johnny Appleseed. Oh. Never again will I take, oh my goodness, <laughs> sleeping pills and laxatives <laughs> on the same night. Well, okay. Friends. That doesn't seem like a resolution as much as like a warning. Right. I was going to say, friends, this is good advice. Never take sleeping pills and laxatives on the same <laughs> night. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah, I think that's real too. Yeah. Hey. From Fire Lake DJ. I'm sorry, Fire Lake DJ, for whatever happened to you that evening. As fat as I was there. Become as fat as I was the very first time I thought I was fat. This is Oh, because because this person got even fatter, and they're like, man, I wish. So I, I wish I was you know, as fat yeah, as I used to I be. reached 180 pounds, and I was like, man, I'm so fat, and now I'm 220, and I wish I was 180 pounds. Okay. All right, so that's a good resolution, right? To I mean, to get healthier is a good resolution. Depends on who you ask. In I our think society. Yeah, but I think health mm. is always a good thing. I agree. Uh, Depends on who you ask in our society. Well, they would agree with you, which is I mean, dumb. Dying early is bad. Uh, I don't know. Die young, make a pretty corpse. That's what I always say. Three, two, <laughs> one. Oh, we both said fake. Uh, <gasps> and it was real. It just seemed really, Kids really fey, fee, fi, fo, fum. fum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love it. Okay. Excellent. Holy my New cow. Year's resolution is to overcome my OCD. My New Year's resolution is to uh, overcome my OCD. Funny. My new because you have to do everything three times. Or you've, that's yeah. Okay, so that's the idea. All right. Uh, <sighs> man, my New Year's resolution is to not be in crippling pain. Yeah, Nathan well so hurt far. his back this week. So if you see him grimace, it's not because of this game, though it might be. It's actually because of his pain. <laughs> No pain, no game. <sighs> That's what they tell me. All, all right. right. Three, two, one. It that just seems great. too funny. Are all these real? Did these get? No, because we had a fake one. No, wait. They've all been real, haven't they? They've all been real so far. What'd you do, Matt? Nothing. I <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> okay. Matt um, Oswald. All right. Is that Patton Oswald's brother? Yes. Okay. New Year's resolution. Exercise my right to eat more tacos. Oh, that's just funny. This is my New Year's resolution. Yeah. All let's right. get Three, pose. two, one. Yeah, hey. we're still tied. I was gonna say we're still tied. I At think. Two. Then. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Snow Lion. This year, I will know exactly where I am when I fall asleep. Never waking up in a Wendy's bathroom again. <laughs> That's good advice, also. 
What if they're all real just because they're funny? I know. All right, three, I, two, one. That's what I'm worried about now. Oh, finally. <laughs> How dare us. Uh, okay. This is to do less laundry and wear <laughs> way more deodorant. I like that. That's funny. Um, teenagers, free teenagers, do all both. of you listening right now. Yes, please. No, don't do less laundry, but wear more oh, deodorant. Oh, yes, sorry, sorry. Shower regularly. Do your laundry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. That's what I meant by do. I mean, wash your clothes and wear more deodorant. Yes, yes. 100%. All right. um, this sounds like a college student who doesn't do laundry. Uh, was this, all right, here's my, my question. Was this game made by, like, youth pastors? Yeah, most likely. Okay. All right, that changes your answer. A little bit. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, Nathan. <laughs> why I ask that question? Because every youth pastor would want this to be real. So it sounds like something that they would make. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> I resolved to take my Muppet making more seriously. This year, I will make oh. it to the street. <laughs> it's like, okay. Good. okay. Three, two, one. Oh. We're back to Tide. <laughs> Let's go. My New Year's resolution is to go completely gluten full. We're, we're talking flour <laughs> right out of the bag, baby. Right out of the bag, baby. All right. I joke about this often. Like, yeah. I wish I could bring gluten flakes and just sprinkle them on things. Yeah. Make gluten great again. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. It's fake. Darn it. Yeah. I was doing All right. So good. All right. If you tell yourself you're going to go to the gym and study, you're only allowed to overeat or nap instead, not both. Wait, wait, wait. What? If you tell yourself you're going to go to the gym and study, you're only allowed to overeat or nap instead, not both. I see. You have to. So if. All right. So you, our, the first part is if you. So the condition is you tell yourself you're going to go to the gym and study. Uh -huh. Then you are allowed to overeat or nap, but you can't do both. Right. Right. As you're what you do instead. Two good things. I'm only allowed one bad. Theoretically. Oh, if yeah, they're saying napping what, is bad. If I skip the gym, I can overeat oh. or nap, but I can't do both. If I, if I, instead of doing that. I'm just ready to vote, <laughs> I think. Three, two, one. Yeah, it didn't make sense. No one, no one talks That's like that. That's what made me think it was real no. because people are dumb. And so that was you, it. You won. Yep. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. Maybe. We'll see if I come back. All right. That was fun. Speaking of fun, Nathan, have you ever done like those magic 3D picture things? Um, you like know, a the, magic, the magic like eye? Like where you have to unfocus your eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like a shape jumps out at you? Yeah. Those were the coolest things ever. Yeah. So I'm going to put one on the screen here. I want to get, I'll give you guys does a minute. It, wait, see if you can it figure it out. work through the internet? It does work through the internet. Um, so oh here's, boy. here's a magic eye. These are the pictures I'm talking about you guys. Um, and we'll, we'll stay on it for a minute so that you guys can try and figure it out. But uh, like, there's a tip for it is you get really close to it and then slowly back up and don't let your eyes focus. So if you're watching this on a giant TV, just go stand an inch away <laughs> from the TV, uh, burn That's your retinas. That'll be great. Eyes. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people maybe, um, at least I've always felt like when people are like right away, Oh, I see what it is. I'm like, you're lying. Just straight up. But what if they tell you accurately what it I is? I know. Yeah. Like some of you might have some people can saw just this right it. away. Yeah. And some of you, you're still looking at it being like, there's not a picture here, Matt. You're lying <laughs> to me right now, right? Um, here, here's the deal. Let me see. I'm going to keep it on keep it on the slides for a minute. I'm going to show you the image that's embedded. This exact oh. same size. It looks exactly like that. And then I'm going to go back for you. Oh. Did that make it any easier for you now? Do you think you can see it? Nathan, I know we're too far away we're from the screen far. to see I anything right it. now. But I'm going to try after we're done. I, I had this computer right in front of me looking at these, and then I did the back and forth, and I still struggled a little bit. Oh, I went too far. But Ooh. eventually, I saw it. So see, see that's if that really cool. right there. Um, here's my question. So we yeah. discovered... Like, I'm assuming it was the invention of computers that allowed for this to happen. Like, I don't think you could hand draw one of these. Oh, right. I right. think it had to. So, like, we've never had these in the history of humanity. Until right? computers. Until computers. Now, here's my question. Yeah. It's to quote, like, I think it's Jurassic Park, where we are so busy trying to figure out if we could that we never asked if we should. What if we find out, like, this causes blindness if you do it too much? How? 
It's something so new. How would we know? What if what if this is destroying our retinas? Here's the thing. I feel like these are really trendy for just a few years. Right, because they found out it and actually they, maybe they found out it did brain damage. damage. All right. So I'm not great at this one. I struggle with this one, but what I am really good at is these types of things. Oh, is this like where's Waldo? Um, this is kind of like the the where's Waldo type of moment, right? I love so it. Actually, this is a Where's Waldo. So see if you can find Waldo in it. Those of you that are watching at home, um, <laughs> see who finds it first. Shout out where he is oh, in your he small is. group. Where? Just kidding. Yeah, you can't see him. <laughs> it's um, really far away from me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll give you a couple more seconds to try and find it because there's this is busy. There's a lot going on Well, here. that's the whole idea, right? That's the whole idea. <gasps> he's right there. Now, if I go Spoilers. back, you can't not see him, right? Like he's, he's there. Those of you that are watching, especially if you're on a bigger <laughs> TV, you can't not see it and this is what's what's fun about these is we have a whole bunch of like find it type of books at home uh -huh. we have a whole bunch of where's waldo and we have some that, some that are themed like star wars and other fun oh, see that's really themes. fun i like that and my five-year-old loves reading some of those reading some of those right before bed right he's like can we do waldo can we do these even oh, though he's fun. done it a hundred times and knows exactly he knows where everything is he, he'll still pretend huh. that he doesn't know um it's fun and, and then watch like one of his brothers or me struggle. Usually it's me struggle trying to find it at first <laughs> when he already knows because he did it last night with mom and found everything. Right. I love it. Um, but it's super fun. So with this picture right now, there's Waldo. If you didn't yep. find him, he's there. I'm going to go back. Look at like kind of maybe the bottom left or bottom right corner. Do you yep. still see Waldo? You do probably right. Like it's really hard not to see him. Um, no matter where you look, because you know the solution already, you can't not see the solution. And so tonight we're actually going to be talking about um, a, a new series through First John for a few weeks I'm called Real John. Eyes. Um, this this letter kind of talks about sort of the same idea of once you see the solution, the problem's not as complicated as you thought it was. So yeah. like in those magic eye things, once you see the picture, it's a, little bit it's a lot easier to see it next time you go back to it. With Waldo, once you find him, He's like, oh yeah, it's so obvious. He's right, <laughs> He's right there, there, right? Yeah, um, I love that. And so in this letter, there's this man named John. Um, he was a friend of Jesus uh, for a few years. He walked with with Jesus, did life with him. Um, he's the dude who wrote the gospel of John. He also wrote these letters. Um, and these letters are written kind of like to newer Christians, okay. uh, people who are just kind of figuring out what this life of following Jesus looks like. Um, and so this one is called first John and it, John actually gives his reason for writing this letter. Uh, Nathan, if you'll read this first John five thirteen, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. Yeah. So the people who believe in the name of the son of God, what is the name that we give them today? Christian Christians, right? These are the Christians that he's writing to, right? Um, and John says, so that they may know, or so that you may know you have eternal I, life. I no, I love that. Right? You've confessed Jesus as Lord. May you right. know, have absolute confidence that you have eternal life. That's and awesome. I love that word, know. It's actually kind of a strange word in the Greek. Um, for sake of time, I'm not going to get into like the deep word study. I had a lot of fun with it last week, kind of looking into it. Um, but John means the word no the same way that we know where Waldo is once someone shows us. Oh, that's kind of okay? cool. So like the facts haven't changed. Where right. Waldo was on the picture never changed. But now we realize something mm. that we didn't know before. It changes how we see it from here on out. So that's John's cool. using it the same way. Like the fact never changed. When you confess Jesus as Lord, he had eternal life. But now you realize it. You're seeing it with now these real eyes, if that it. kind of makes sense. You realize um, what's happening. You realize what's happening. Um, kind of a play on words there, right? So like I can put away my doubts. I can see life with real eyes once I've realized it to be true, even yes. though it was always true. If that kind of makes sense, right? I love it. Um, so let's dive in. First John chapter one. Mm. First John one, five through seven. This is the message that we have heard from him and proclaimed to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. 
Sweet. So when John says this is the message we've heard from him, who's the him we're talking about? Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. He, he did life with Jesus. He walked with him for a few years. Um, he was a friend. Th- this isn't the same like, oh, I heard a voice from heaven type of thing. Right. Like John heard this from the source, um, recalling probably this conversation that he had with Jesus one day, which is really cool to think about. Um, and what did John say that Jesus was? John said that or that God Jesus, is <laughs> wait what I'm about to sneeze <laughs> and so I'm like struggling right now to even think because I'm trying to keep You're it in keep and sneeze not in? sneeze all okay. over the microphone if okay you want, if you need are you, are you good? We're, good we're good it's passed <sighs> all right we're good who did <laughs> who does John say that God is God is light God is light yes sweet so with light what does that imply that God is not Darkness. Darkness, right? Because those are well, opposites, he, right? he goes beyond and point. He and just says he it. He says it, right? In, In him, him is no darkness at all. I love that. Yeah. So John says that if we are essentially cool with God, if we have a right relationship with him, if we're in him, but we're walking in darkness, right. we're lying, right? I'm not actually in him. I might say it, but I'm not actually walking right. in Our him. Our walk needs to match our talk. Our walk needs to, I love that. Yeah. Like I don't have a right standing with God if I'm still walking in darkness. And so I love like both verses six and seven there say, begin with if we. And so this is kind of an invitation for us to do a little bit of self-evaluation right. in this moment, right? So if we are doing this, if I'm being honest with myself right now, mm. am I walking in the light or am I walking in darkness? Right. And I think I, that's an important question. I think this is really cool. When I... um. I did a very extended preaching through you first did. John. It was awesome. And um, that, yeah, that almost, uh, the way it f- was kind of framed in my mind as I, as I went through it is it's like, it's very diagnostic. It's, I can examine all yeah. these results and then that lets me know what's going on internally. And Love so that. I think it's really good as we talk about this to always keep in mind, the solution is not to try to get the results. The results are going to happen because of what's going on in our hearts. Right. It's really easy to let this um, kind of sink into a, like a workspace checklist of, right. well, I need to make sure that I'm doing X, Y, Z, as opposed to saying, I need to make sure my heart's in the right place because then X, Y, Z will flow out of it naturally. Right. It's not about doing the right things per se. It's about being in the right person, right? right? Being and letting in the right things flow out of that. Right. Oh, yeah. I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, and here's what's interesting with like the self evaluation, what he says in the next verse, verse eight. Good. First John one, eight. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So this is again, the reminder of, I am a sinful person. Yeah. And honestly, if I'm, if I'm being honest, there are times when I'm walking in darkness instead of in the light. And so right. this is an opportunity where I'm reminded in God, there is mm. no darkness. And so if I want to be in a place where I can say, look, I'm in a great place right now, there's going to be fruit. There's going to be evidence. There's going right. to be light shining through me because I'm in the light. Right. But <laughs> we still sin. Right. We still have those moments. So no one, none of us can sit here your small group leader can't Nathan and I can't and say that I am sinless. I just thought, sorry, as you were talking about no, the light, it made me think of a really good metaphor and I'm sure this has been used a million times to death. I, I, I did not invent this metaphor. Okay. I'm guaranteeing. It. <laughs> um, but it's kind of like we're the moon and God is the sun. Yeah. So we have no light of our own, but when we're in the light, we reflect that light. And when we're out of that light, we don't reflect anything. Right. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool metaphor. I've heard that one too. Yeah. Um, actually, later on in life is when I heard it. Yeah, I'm sure I've heard it somewhere. Yeah. I can't think of where, yeah. but it just struck yeah. me. I love I like it. it. Um, so if nobody's perfect, right. um, then what do I do? Sit down and cry. Sit down and cry about it. No, John actually <laughs> gives us some, no, he some says, things we can do here. I know. There's almost an implied like transition here. Like if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. However, yeah. if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. It's kind of like a little sandwich. Like if we say we're not sinners, we're lying. But if we confess our sins, we're good. And if we say we're not sinning, we're lying. Like it kind of reiterates that right. on each side. It's kind because of... Jesus. Right. Right. If I confess my sins, I'm forgiven. 
and cleansed from that. Like the Christian life is not about being perfect. Right. Right. It's, or pretending you're perfect, right? Because right. we know we're not. So it's not about pretending you have all your stuff together. The Christian life is about being made perfect right. one step at a time. It's this ongoing process. So I sin, I confess that, he cleanses me and purifies me from that. From all from of righteousness. All. That all is really big too because yeah. there's no sin that you're going to say, well, that you've, you've gone too far that time, sir. Right. It seems like as I read through these verses in First John and I think about like our world, it seems like this whole idea of like doubt and self-evaluation, we end up with two extremes that people tend to like fall in. You have like the got it togethers, right? Those are the people who we're strutting around with our heads held high and like everything seems perfect. And you look at them and you're like, oh man, I, I need that life. Like that guy has it all together. Yeah. I want to be like him. Um, John calls these people liars. Mm. Okay. Then you have the, the other camp of extremes where it's like, I have nothing together. I can't do anything right. Essentially. Right. Those are the people, you know, you're walking with your head down, no hope. Why even try? Right. John also says you're wrong. Right. Right. Mm. Because if we confess our sins, we're all sinners. Right. Don't act like you're not. But when we confess it, he cleanses us and he purifies us from all un righteousness. So while the Bible mm-hmm. points out my flaws and my sin, mm-hmm. it gives us a solution I love every that. single time. Right. And so I need to not latch on to like one of those extremes. I need to recognize that. Yes, I'm a sinner, but in Christ, when I confess my sins, he forgives me and he cleanses me. He purifies me. Right. That's great. And so we have to start looking at ourselves with real eyes and then realize the truth we have in Christ. Mm. Right. And so if we do that, If we look at things with real eyes, we know that there is eternal life in Jesus. And if we ask, he forgives and he cleanses. I love it. So you guys are going to talk about that more in your small groups tonight. uh, And we will see you next week. So wait, before we go, wait, 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 wait. hold the phone. Wait. People don't say that anymore. They don't say, well, it it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Cell phones have ruined a lot of stuff. You also can't hang up angrily anymore. It's not as fun. You have to just press the button. Right. You can't slam the phone down. Uh, All right. Sorry. Uh, What were we going to say? That's what I want. No. Um, (laughs) So uh, one thing that we're doing as a whole church, and I want to make sure I've extended to you guys. I want this everywhere. Um, is join us in our reading the Bible in a year. Now, I know you're going to say, well, I've already missed a week. It's too late. Even if you don't catch up, if you just start on whatever day we're on, yeah. which is supposed to be the day of the, for at least this first month, it'll be the... The 10th. The 10th. Yeah. You'll start on day 10. Or um, 11, you or, know, if you start tomorrow morning. Right, whenever yeah. you want to start. There's a link in the description. There's, um, your leaders can help you get uh, connected to it. However you need to do it. If you've got the Bible app on your phone, if you have a phone, those of you who have a smartphone, Sign up, yep. read with us, comment with us. It's a great way to connect with the church in a way that you might not You can do scan the QR code otherwise. in the bathrooms on the main floor. Oh, yeah. If, are, all the bathrooms have it, don't they? Oh, do the downstairs ones also? No, no. I mean upstairs. Yeah, sorry. all the main floor bathrooms have it. All the main floor bathrooms, bathrooms. So just run over there if you have, if nothing else. Do that. Oh, and in the in the sanctuary. Like right outside the sanctuary, oh, there's right, right. little signs too. All that to say, join us in reading the Bible and we'll see you next time. See ya.